I think there was a campaign, a political campaign issue, and I think it's pretty clear by now that there's nothing that was wrong in the deal. It, it appears very clearly. We are now expecting uh, a final word from the Supreme Court, but I'm very confident from what I hear. Well, they, uh, as you as you know, huh, the relation uh, between our two countries is great. It's very wide, very confident. It's uh, it goes from uh, yeah, strategic issues. You mentioned uh, uh, meter equipment, but al also uh, we're working on satellites together. We're working on blue economy. We're breaking the Indo-Pacific. We're working on uh, trade. We're working on innovation. We're working on investment. Looking at culture, we want to to promote people-to-people -people exchanges. We want to have more Indians coming to France, coming to study, and then next I'm going to, to university. We want uh, more Indians to learn our language. We want more uh, uh, cultural exchange. We want more in the field of science, because our country is also a country of great innovation. So it's a very wide relationship. And uh, that is it's this ambition uh, that uh, your prime minister and my president, when, when they met again in, uh, in August in France, um, they, they built a roadmap to even increase the, the relations. As far as trade is concerned, uh, it's uh, moving, uh, could, be fa could move faster, because I think we have uh, both countries a lot of to exchange also in this area. I mean, uh, French companies are ready to, uh, to bring their know-how, their technologies, to be part of a great development in India. And uh, we know that you are facing uh, challenges, and that you are uh, urbanization, that means smart cities, uh, also how to provide uh, safe food to, uh, to the population, how to uh, uh, have a good health care, and uh, in all these areas, uh, the French companies are world leaders and are ready to, to be part of it. This means our government have to work with each other more to uh, open the market, which are not as fully open as they should be right now. Uh, but this is, uh, this is how things are, and we, we're ready. And we also want to expand the cooperation in the uh, to be very uh, future oriented. Uh, we want to work more with each other on uh, artificial intelligence, on digital, on cyber. Uh, we feel that uh, since we have such a level of trust uh, between our two countries, we can work in full confidence on these very sensitive issues. So I recently arrived to India and uh, I wanted to make one of my first trips outside of Delhi to come to Assam because I think it's a wonderful state and uh, full of potential and uh, also, and that's why we went to uh, uh, the park of Kaziranga, uh, it's one of the, our largest uh, development project in India and one of which we are the most uh, proud of. And uh, originally it was a, a project to uh, promote and protect uh, biodiversity and animals and uh, reno inside the park. And since uh, it was launched in, uh, in 2012, it uh, provided great success. Of course, it helped to, uh, to bring back and to uh, uh, new rhino and new animals, but also it's a wonderful uh, project because it uh, it engaged uh, all the communities, uh, including women. It was very much uh, gender specific also. And now uh, we are about to start, and that's another reason for my coming, a new phase, a phase two, and which uh, uh, carry the project even uh, even further. So it's a great success. We are happy to, uh, to make publicity about it. And as you may know, next year we're going to have uh, huge international meetings yeah. about biodiversity. Uh, we're going to have in, uh, in June in Marseille, in France, and then later uh, COP15 in, in China, Kunming. And I'm sure that this project will be uh, 
showcased as an example what should be done uh, to protect biodiversity uh, with the participation of uh, all the population, the communities, otherwise it doesn't work. Well, now we're just finishing phase one and uh, your prime minister, my president, when they met in August in France, they decided to go on phase two now. And uh, so today, we, that's the final signature of the project. Starts now and it will take uh, five more years huh, to grow. This project for biodiversity? Well, I, I would love to, that we could uh, replicate it elsewhere. But you know, the, the res we, we devote a lot of resources to India in terms of uh, development assistance. But it's not illimited. So the idea is uh, to make the best as a, uh, of one project. Uh, it's going to be a showcase, a good experience. And then when we've seen the best practice, it can be replicated elsewhere. And I hope uh, with other partners and uh, India by itself will feel empowered and uh, will be willing to replicate this sort of uh, experience park or protection of biodiversity uh, elsewhere around in the northeast, which is a great region.